Phoenix, Arizona. A few reporters are going to get a few hours with hundreds of pages of documents tomorrow. It's a lot to sort through. It's about eight or nine years worth of medical records. Uh, we, we've been sort of thinking about this and how we're going to approach it. Here's what we came up with. The last time reporters were allowed to see the medical records was in 1999. John McCain was challenging George Bush for the Republican nomination. Running again eight years later, Senator McCain is the presumptive Republican nominee. And he's given reporters another look at his medical records, from 2000 to the present. But there are ground rules. Here's how it's going to work. Representatives of the wire services, U.S. television networks, New York Times, Washington Post, and Arizona Republic will be allowed into a room at a resort outside Phoenix, Arizona. That's McCain's home state. No copies can be made of McCain's records. There's no internet or cell phone use allowed in the room. And anyone who leaves the room for anything but a bathroom break will not be allowed back in. What's more, we'll have only three hours to review hundreds of pages of medical records. A daunting task, even for a doctor. The McCain campaign says the ground rules allow for thorough and substantive review of McCain's medical history. Neither Senator Obama nor Senator Clinton have released their medical records. But John McCain's age, 71, makes his health particularly relevant. He'd be 72 on Inauguration Day, the oldest first-term U.S. president ever. Here's what I'll be looking for. Melanoma. McCain had a malignant melanoma removed in 2000. What's the latest from his dermatologist? Heart health. His campaign says he's taking baby aspirin to prevent heart attacks, something common for a man his age. And Vitorin to lower his cholesterol. I want to know the senator's blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Diabetes. Age is a risk factor. Has he undergone tests looking at his blood sugar? Colon and prostate screenings. The cancer risks rise with age. How recently has he had a colonoscopy or other cancer tests? Mental health. Any depression? Difficulty sleeping? What sort of neurological tests have been performed? Even with the restrictions, the review should provide a clearer picture of McCain's health. As you know, Wolf, uh, you may know this, that there is no requirement for a candidate, or even a president for that matter, to actually release their medical records. But the McCain campaign has told us they believe it's the right thing to do, given all the interest, especially given his age, Wolf. And, and the biggest difference between 1999 and now is the melanoma, which he went through that major procedure on his face in the year 2000, or when, when did he do that? Uh, 2000, 2001, something like that, right? Uh, and, and that's probably... I could be wrong, uh, the biggest potential threat, melanoma being the most serious form of skin cancer. That's right, and there have been some, some details that have been told to us specifically about that melanoma. For example, you sort of grade these melanomas on a grade from one to four, one being the wet best, four being the worst. His was a 2A, uh, so you know we, we figured out survival statistics. We want to make sure all that we've been told actually matches. Well, if it's going to kind of be like going to medical school again, looking at these hundreds of pages of documents in a few hours, we're pretty confident we're going to be able to sift through all that and have something for you to report. Are you going to be able to go through these hundreds of documents in, in three hours? I'm, I'm pretty confident, Wolf. We, we, we've made our checklists. Uh, we got a lot of specific things we're going to be doing. It's going to be interesting. You know, it's a, it's a process. They, they, you go through a metal detector. You can't take any metal in there with you. Uh, you can't record anything. You can take notes. That's about it. So it really is kind of like medical school again. But, but we'll, we'll, have, uh, we'll, we'll be able to get through all of it. I'm confident of it. All right, good. And we'll be, have you back here in the Situation Room tomorrow with your report. Sanjay, good luck over there. Thanks that. very much for doing this.